me today, I still have yet today, Uri Olowo. You're welcome back. Hello. Me, Ade Shomaju. You're welcome back. Thank you. Yeah. Last time we talked about how to safeguard our home, we looked at the spiritual aspect and we looked about the need to be watchful. Today, we're going to focus on our relationship with our husbands because when there is a gap between the man and the woman, it's very difficult to safeguard the home. How do we need to focus on our relationship with our husband to make sure that we're safeguarding our home? Okay, today, um, let us take off from the fact that, okay, we were first friends before we got married. So That's true. So, <laughs> That's true. So there are certain things that we, are, that we were doing when we were courting and which eventually, eventually led to the marriage. So I want couples to um, try and figure out those things that they were involved in Definitely. before Makes they sense. got married yeah. and continue in that light so that the fire of the love that they have for each other will keep burning. You know, love is just like um, a flower. If you don't <laughs> tend to it, after a you while, it's, 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 it's going to that, just yeah. fall off and die. So there were certain things that, you know, uh, interested both of you when you were courting. So let's just keep it going. Another important thing that we need will be communication. It's very important that we keep the communication gap um, open so that if there's any challenge, we can talk about it mm -hmm. and quickly, you know, um, take care of it. It's very important that, you know, um, yes, you are married, you live under the same roof, but you both go out to work. It's yeah. very important that you talk to yourselves at least once while you're out. You, yeah. while you, are out. you don't wait till you come back all day. This is particularly important for women because women like, you know, we are emotional people yes. and we like to be, we like to sense Attention. that we are being mm -hmm. cared for mm -hmm. and we are, we st your focus is still on us, we mm -hmm. like attention. Mm -hmm. So it's good to talk to the woman. Okay. It keeps her going all day till you come back and, you know, when you come back, it's all nice and good okay. when you come Excellent. back. Excellent. So that's what Excellent. I do. Then let's keep the friendship going. You have to be friends. I don't believe that um, you will be married to somebody you can't talk to. You, must you started be, as friends. Yes. So you, you must, must continue, continue as, as friends. And that's why it's good to identify those things that kept you as friends while you were courting. Another thing uh, that is very important in, in our marriage is, is let's be touchy. It's good that we can communicate, <laughs> touch, and look into each other's eyes, speak good words, go say nice things, buy little gifts for yeah. ourselves, you know. Those things keep them. You know, I was speaking to somebody who came for counseling and married a year and two months and they went out already. And I'm like, so why did you marry in the first place? <laughs> you know, but while I was talking, I just said, so what are those things she like? Little things you can afford. Oh, she said to me, he said to me that she likes shawarma. I said, so why don't you pick Buy up? Buy shawarma. You know, what does it cost? Yes. From time to time, just bring that home for her. She, there's no way you will get a gift. Everybody likes a gift, you know. Okay. So get her little things, make her happy and just keep it. Keep it so let me come in there. I want to emphasize this part about being touchy. Because, and what I find is that most married couples, the only time they touch, touch themselves is in the bedroom. <laughs> Which shouldn't be. When you're looking at building that constant communication, affection, hold hands. I, I, I would like to see a day that I'm in church and people walk into the church, husband and wife, mm. holding hands. That would be the day. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you, you're, you're in the house together sometimes. And these are practical tips. You're in the house together sometimes. Why don't you sit beside your husband and put your head on his shoulder? Exactly. I, I know a husband. And husbands, allow, allow, I love your wives. If they're husbands, here, yeah, it all adds to the relationship. I remember a couple once they came and the wife said, look, I, I always want to touch my husband. And my husband said, I'm behaving like a cat. <laughs> Let your wife be, behave like a cat, T touch each other. All these things help to, you know, build, yes. build the relationship yes. together. You Sometimes your husband comes in and to be practical, I did it <laughs> recently. I saw my husband, he was all over the place. He was busy, he was under a lot of pressure. And I just went to him. And I held him. I just gave him a deep hug. Do you know what he said? He said, thank you. You, you wouldn't know the extent to which those things 
actually go to. So let's be touchy. You can't touch anybody else but your wife or your husband. Let's make them feel good and all that stuff. Thank you. Okay. Um, I'll be. I'll emphasize on um, forgiveness. Okay. Because, like they say, marriage is between two forgivers. If you can't let go, it will be difficult for you to be able to maintain that relationship. If you're one to hold grudges, oh, he did this to me, he did, um, she did that to me, and you carry it on and on. Even the Bible says, do not let, let the, the sun, sun go, go down. down. Mm -hmm. yeah. So it's okay to be upset. It's okay to be angry. But let how go. do you deal with it? Mm -hmm. Let go. You know, Bible says love covers a multitude of sins. So we have to learn to be forgivers. As, believe, as um, believers or Christian in, in marriage, even everybody, you have to learn to just let go, mm -hmm. you know, so that you can move to the next one. There's a Yoruba adage that says, Tabanja, <laughs> we Tabakwari or something yeah. that when Ibala to Maja, the next one, <laughs> I don't know how to put it, you know, it's an I idea that yeah. if we sweep with Tabanakul on this quarry, uh -huh. when are we the going to finish it from. and the next next go on to the next one? Because exactly. you always have differences yeah. of yeah. opinion. Yeah. Exactly. So it's good, it's important for you to understand that it's okay to quarrel, it's okay to disagree, yes. but you need to move on. Don't need respect to love language. Still talking about this being tough. Okay. You have to understand the love language of your spouse. Yeah, Some okay. people love to touch. I'm not a touchy person. Mm -hmm. I don't like touch. As I, I'm very ticklish. Okay. You know, and my husband loves touch. Okay. You know, so you have to find the balance. Yeah. That is it. We find the balance. I touch it, but it doesn't touch me. <laughs> you know, that's it. So, I, um, and then it could be that the person likes gifts. You know, some people you apologize to them, they are okay, but you understand when, when you give them a gift, even if it's just a rose, mm -hmm. they brighten yes. up. Mm -hmm. Forget about You know, everything. yeah, they brighten up, they're happy, you know. So understand the love language of your spouse. It may be for some people, it's just talk. Mm -hmm. They like you to sit down with them and have conversations. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, so it's important as Christians, we shouldn't take it for granted that mm -hmm. I did this, he didn't like it. Maybe mm -hmm. that's that is love language. Mm -hmm. Understand the long, long, love <laughs> language of your spouse, you know, and it also helps to boost the marriage okay. then um you have to be interactive you have a man comes back from work start putting pressure you just want to talk 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 understand the fact that yes it's important for you to talk and communicate as a couple but there's a time for mm -hmm. everything everything okay you know so make your that. home yes make your home interesting be creative mm -hmm. you cook them we're gonna today you want him to eat or gonna tomorrow and the man is looking <laughs> forward to eating something Some else. Until that soup finish, you not cook another one. <laughs> Some of us are like that, you know. Have a goosey in the fridge, have elastic, or have all kinds, um, you know, have all kinds so that you can choose. Be creative, you know, make the home interesting. Make the home Excellent. a fortress. Excellent. Let him always want to come back to you and always have a smile. Have a an amiable personality. Some men... A welcoming. Know, a welcoming, yes. Yeah, some men come home and you're just all... You know, so make yourself in, interesting. Let your, let your husband look forward to coming back okay. home to you at every point in time. I think that will also okay. help. Thank you so much. Do you have yeah. one brief point you want to add? You know, to keep your marriage going, talking to ladies or women, you know, there was... There's this way you were looking. Okay. When, <laughs> yeah. when he met you. Yeah. So it's still going back to how we started, yes, you know, the yes, courtship yes. days. That thing you had, how you looked then, is very important. You need to maintain Because that, you need to maintain it, thank you. Because yeah. that's the attracting um, thing, you know. So you need to maintain that, you at least move close to how you looked then. Yeah, it might not be exactly it might the not same, be exactly, but try your best. Yes, try your best too. And also the behavior that you exhibited then, then yeah. please try and maintain it. So for women, sometimes we say that, you know, uh, we are married, we have children, and so we just let go. And mm -hmm. the man does not like what he's saying. Mm -hmm. And, you know, it probably mm, try to insinuate it and you just blow up, you know. Mm -hmm. So he... He retrieves from saying anything and it's just a friend of mine said once and i found it very funny you know she works she has her own business and you know she does her own thing so the husband works in a bank she says so every time her husband is coming back from work then she dresses up fully makes sense so 
<laughs> it makes sense. <laughs> At least once in a while, so you might not be able to do it so every day. I went, day, I went to their house in the evening, a late evening, and she was all decked up, you know, seriously decked up like, ah. I said, so why, why are you decked up in the evening? She said, ah. And, and seen all <laughs> kinds of make sense. She said that you know he's all day he's been seeing women well dressed. Then he will come back home and come and, and see me like this. That like, somebody like, in rap power, the wig thrown somewhere. Said, no, you know that she must be decked up. And you know I it picked that from them. from him. So you have to look good. Men are attracted by what, what they, they see. see. We need to look good. So give them we need a good to vision. smell nice. Yeah. We need to be warm. We need to be kind. You know, thank we you have very to find much. ways of just keeping that going. So thank you very much. Yes, I've had a well. wonderful time. I'm sure our viewers have learned so much about how to safeguard our home. To wrap up, there are three major areas. One, we need to be spiritual. Two, we need to be watchful. We need to have eagle eyes and be watchful. And three, we need to focus on the relationship with our husbands. Thank you very much. We appreciate um, your time here today. I'm looking forward to having you again here sometime soon so that we can dig deeper into this. God bless you. Thank have a wonderful day. Thank you very day. much.